Do your kids have trouble understanding the meaning of the term perimeter? My name is Steve Reifman, and I'm a National Board Certified Elementary School teacher and author in Santa Monica, California. Today, I'll be sharing a story with you in which the meaning of the term perimeter is embedded in the plot of the story. Every year, I look forward to sharing this story with my students, and after hearing it, they have such a strong understanding of perimeter that when we make our inevitable transition to paper and pencil tasks, they're able to solve these quite easily. The story begins with a boy named Perry. Now, Perry's a bit unusual because he doesn't seem to have any interests or hobbies. At recess on the playground, all he seems to do is walk around the outside edge of the playground. That's all Perry does anywhere. He walks around the outside of every place that he goes. So when he's at home in his room, he's not playing any video games, he's not reading. He simply walks around the outside edge of his room. His mother became concerned one day and asked her husband, Mr. Meter, whether he thought something was wrong with Perry. Mr. Meter said, no, honey, I think he's fine. Let's just leave Perry alone. But the mother remained concerned, and after a few days, she convinced her husband to take Perry to the doctor. So one afternoon after school, the family's sitting in the waiting room, father's texting, mom's a bit frantic, Perry's walking around the outside edge of the waiting room. Finally, Perry gets called into the examination room. Doctor discovers that nothing is wrong with Perry, and he suggests to the family that they take their son to a nice lunch at Perry's favorite restaurant, Soup Plantation. When they get to Soup Plantation, while everyone else is getting their food, all Perry does is take laps around the salad bar. All this changes one day at recess when Perry stops walking around the outside edge of the school and begins walking laps around the school track. After walking for a while, Perry's walk turns into a jog and then turns into a run, and the coach immediately notices Perry, and Perry Meter goes on to become an accomplished track runner. So the kids love the fact that this boy who doesn't have any interests or hobbies takes his habit of walking around the outside edge of places and he uses it for positive purposes. He becomes an accomplished track runner. So that helps the kids understand perimeter and the image of perimeter walking around the outside edge of places burns into their brains. And to reinforce that fact, I get student volunteers to walk around the outside edges of tables in our classroom. And when the kids are watching that, they're laughing, they're having fun, but they definitely remember who Perimeter is, and what he does. For more teaching tips, blog posts, and other resources on teaching the whole child, please visit steveriefman.com.